So this here should be Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4 global version with wider 4G coverage. Now this this ain't gonna be another review. The whole YouTube is full of them. I'm gonna just do unboxing and some some hands-on experience compared to my old Redmi Note 3, which looks like that. I decided to to order another Xiaomi. By the way, it wasn't Xiaomi's fault. It, it, it was it was my fault. So so let's check how it feels compared to the older Redmi Note 3. So I'm not gonna do any benchmarks or camera tests. I'm just gonna use do the hands on. By the way, I ordered it from uh, honorbuy.com and it came from Italy to Finland in just under 48 hours, so it's quite remarkable. So I really recommend the Honor Buy if, if you're living in Europe and want to film fast. silicon case as well so it should be included in here also, everything's packed nicely so that's the silicon case in case of the older Redmi Note 3, the global version was 2mm taller than the normal version, but I don't know, is it the case with Redmi Note, 3, Redmi Note 4? You can see it's the global version. Snapdragon 625. I ordered the 4GB version. It has the 64GB of ROM as well. So yeah, everything's in English, so it's the global, it's the official global. Uh, is there 4G bands? Yeah, they're not marked. So yeah, it's opened up. There's no factory seal, so I assume they've checked, is the phone working? So there it is. Okay, even the paperwork is in English. Usually Xiaomi's paperwork is all Chinese, but there's, at least there's some English. It supports two SIM cards like the older one, or it, it's the hybrid SIM version. You can have the two SIMs or, or one SIM card and micro SD. Order. There's no 4G bands marked here, but it's the USB cable, the charger. Uh, I assume it's it's the standard 2 2 amper version. Just the SIM tool and nothing else. So yeah, the phone itself. Uh, there's my old Note 3, or what's left of it. How it compares the size ways. There's no battery in it, so I can't compare the weight, but... It, it's almost the same size, but... As was the case with the old Redmi Note, uh, the 
the build quality wasn't the best. Yeah, it was made of metal, but it it, it wasn't the unibody. Actually, the newer feels a bit sturdier. And it has the 2.5D glass effect, so the sides of the glass they are like, you know, you know the deal. It's a bit higher. There wasn't such thing with the old one. Yeah, I think the back cover design has changed the most. The old one had a bit, bit cheap feel to it. But on the other hand, it is a cheap phone, but but the newer one is much, much more premium. And uh, the speaker position is much better as well. The old old one got muffled quite a lot because most of the time you have the phone on its back on the table and it got muffled quite easily. Another thing that I noticed are those side buttons, the power button and the volume rocker. They're, they look much better as well. So yeah, the finger fingerprint sensor is on the same place. I really love the place. It's it's so convenient. It's quite like natural. It would be quite awkward when when it's on the front side. I think they've they've upgraded the camera as well. It's the new one is 13 megapixel, but the older one was 16 megapixel, but it, it didn't perform it that well. Hope there are a bit bigger pixels now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it'll last a bit longer than the Redmi Note 3D, but like I said, it wasn't Xiaomi's fault, it was, it was my fault. Oh. They've still got uh, infrared port as well. That's a nice touch. I didn't use it that much, but still, it's a nice little feature to have to show off to your friends. That my my cheap phone can't do that, but your iPhone can't. 